Hello, welcome to PC Games N's Hardware Clinic. Um, I'm the good Dr. Dave. Hello. And I'm the non-gender determinate nurse, Rich. He is. Um, today we're going to show you how to do a graphics card transplant without any fear of rejection. Now how difficult is this exactly? Because it's always a bit of a, a step to swap out hardware components. This is like the easiest upgrade you can do for your um, gaming rig and probably the most important and has the biggest impact on your gaming performance. It's super easy and can take a matter of minutes. Cool. Is there any danger involved? Uh, am, I about, am I about to electrocute myself or anything? Well as long as you unplug it from the wall you'll be alright. Right. Um, just uh, it's really simple, uh, just take time, um, follow our simple steps and you'll be golden. Excellent. Um, and this is what makes PC gaming great. Um, if you start to get like poor performance in the latest games, um, buy a new graphics card, drop it in, instant performance boost. Boom. Um, so the first step is preparation. Okay, so before you spunk a ground on a Titan XP, you need to know what your current rig is actually capable of dealing with. Um, and that's all about the power supply and how much juice it can deliver to your graphics card. So, what's in your rig then, Rich? So, if we take a look, we can see that we have a 450 watt power supply and a GTX 1050 Ti graphics card. Okay, so now, unless you want to get super surgical and replace your entire power supply and all the cabling and everything, you need to make sure that the graphics card you're upgrading to sticks within the um, power supply recommendations. You also need to make sure you've got the right power cables coming out of your power supply as well. Mm -hmm. And if I don't have the right cabling? Okay, you can also get um, Adapters, like so, um, these will come in most um, graphics card boxes, so these will probably come as standard. Um, basically, you need to check if you've got a 6-pin or an 8-pin power connector coming out of your power supply. If you don't have one of those, you use one of the adapters to plug into these little Molex um, cables. So, two of those, plug in, 6-pin adapter, and that will go into your new graphics card. So, you need to go and check on your website for whatever graphics card you're looking to upgrade to, that'll have the recommended power requirements and what enables that it's going to need. And what GPU are we going to install today? Okay, today we're going to put in an NVIDIA GTX 1060. Um, this is a great mid-price graphics card. Um, it will nail 1080p performance at the highest settings um, without a problem, and it's pretty affordable as well. Good stuff. Okay, it's also rated for 400 watt power supplies, so will be absolutely perfect for a 450 watt one. Okay, so the next step is cleaning your drivers. Okay, so doing a clean driver install is arguably more important going from different manufacturers, so going from NVIDIA to AMD or AMD to NVIDIA. You basically need to do a clean install of your drivers if you're doing that. Um, you can just basically uninstall um, the software yourself, just through Windows, but that doesn't get rid of all the little registry files, all the tiny little things that burrow away into Windows. Right, and what if I'm going from NVIDIA to NVIDIA or AMD to AMD? Generally, you'll be okay. This is kind of like a, a, a catch-all step that if you want to make sure you're having no problems at all, this is the step to take and we'll just make everything easy. So you need to install a program called Display Driver Uninstaller, and that will just nix everything and give you a completely fresh install to go from. And arguably that's a better place to start from. Cool. So it's really, really simple. Download it, install it on your PC, and it'll boot into safe mode, let it do its thing, get it to uninstall everything, and shut your PC down. Now comes the fun stuff, sticking in your graphics card. Okay, so you've got your brand new graphics card, as so. Um, so this is where you can build up your relationship with your PC by getting up close and personal. No one gives a pair of fetid dingoes kidneys about their consoles, right? <laughs> okay, so first off, you need to make sure you discharge static. So if right. you've got a penchant for shuffling around on nylon carpet, you could blow your PC to Hades. So to do that, unplug everything from your machine, power off your power supply, and then just depress the power button. That will just clear any residual power in the machine and should get rid of any problems with static, mostly. So the next thing to do is remove the old card. So the first thing to do is unscrew the retaining bracket, if your PC case has such a thing, and remove the screws from the bracket connecting the card to the chassis. Okay, so first you need to push down the retaining clip on the PCI Express socket and lift out your old card. Be gentle here because you never know when you might need it again. Put the new card in the empty PCI Express socket here and gently push it down. There shouldn't be a lot of resistance here. If there is, there may be some cabling in the way, so just check that if there is any resistance. 
then grab your power cables. Here we've got a six pin connector to go into the GTX 1060 and just slot that in. It will only go in one way, um, so if there is any resistance here again, don't force it. Then push the cables out of the way, make sure they're not getting in the way of the fans and you're ready to screw in. So that's your brand new graphics card in place and the next thing to do is boot up and make sure it's all working. Does anything need to happen before we do that? Okay, so on the first time you boot up, make sure the side panels off your case because you want to check that the fans aren't getting um, muddied by cables or anything and make sure they're, fit, they're spinning um, because otherwise if they're not, your cooler isn't really working properly and bang, pop, fizz, boom, bad times. Things. Yeah, um, so the way you can do that is doing some digital suicide, stick your fingers in there just to make sure they're spinning, um, or you can just look. Mm. Maybe, maybe get things. a mirror if you have one. Yeah. So then um, boot up into Windows. You may notice that the resolution is a bit flaky, a bit off the wall. That's when you download your latest drivers from AMD or NVIDIA and get them in place. Good stuff, sounds nice and simple. Okay, so once, once all that's done, then we can do some benchmarking if you're a freaking nerd like me and check what sort of performance boost you've got out of your new upgrade. Um, this upgrade from a GTX 1050 Ti to a GTX 1060 ought to pretty much double your frame rates. Wow. Cool. Okay, so if you found that useful, give us the old like and subscribe and let us know what you'd like to see us cover in the future. Take care. Cheers.